teaspoon. So that's that one gone. Hello everybody, I am back with a new video. Um, welcome if you are new here, if not then hello. My name is Molly and today I am going to try and attempt to make a gigantic Jaffa cake. <laughs> so, story time about these. Um, I told my friend I was going to try and make a giant Jaffa cake and he thought I said a giant giraffe. And I was like, mm, no, that's not that's not quite what I was going for, but I can dress up as a giraffe, so I have giraffe onesie. I was going to wear that, but it's about uh, 26, 27 degrees in the UK today, which is abnormally hot for the UK. Um, so I've just gone for the ears instead, throw back to when I went to Disney World. I have pre-made the jelly, so I made the jelly yesterday. I will show you some of the footage next. Um, but I've pre-made it, so that's in the fridge, doing its thing, chilling, <laughs> Netflix and chilling in the fridge. Um, but yeah, I suppose we should get started. And then we put this somewhere in the fridge. Let's get to it. So, the first thing the recipe says is to turn the oven on. So, I've turned the oven on. The oven is cooking, heating up, warming up. <laughs> the oven is doing its thing like the jelly is. So, I need to weigh out some ingredients. Now, sometimes this uh, scale doesn't like me, it decides to turn itself off. So we should see how this works. And every time I try to make something in the past, I always end up with a burnt finger, especially at uni. So I was trying to make risotto, burnt my finger. Trying to make pasta bake, burnt my finger. Trying to make pancakes, burnt my finger. Like, every time I try and do something adventurous in the kitchen, I end up burning myself. So today, I doubt will be an exception. So I need 190 Grammage of uh, unsalted butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh, see, like it's just turned itself off. It doesn't like me. Turn back on. So here is my butter. Butter. Pancake. I'm not making pancakes though. Uh, I need a hundred and I should have got this before because now everything's greasy. 190 grams of butter. I'm slicing it because I'm then going to put it in the whisk which is here. Here is the whisk. And I can't film the whisk because it's a very noisy whisk. So you just have to take my word that I use the whisk. That's 69. Oh, cheeky. There's a cheeky amount of butter sitting in this bowl right now. Shouldn't do that. Be careful with knives, kids. So I need more butter. Butter, butter is what I need. I need more butter. Butter, butter is what I need. I need butter. Butter, butter is what I need to make my giant Jaffa cake. So everybody can eat. Perfect. 190, go in the bowl. I can bring the bowl with me, it's fine. I've just realised my mistake. I've put the wet ingredients in first, so everything's gonna stick to the scales. Let's wrap this up like a Christmas present now. I'm bad at wrapping Christmas presents. Evidence is here. 
you sift it, seal it, because you can't get in. Do you sift sugar and flour or just the flour or just the sugar? Which one do you sift? I'm just going to pour it in, you know. So it is pretty sugared up. Sugared up? <laughs> it's sugar. It's got to be sugared. And now we open the other one. Sugar's going everywhere. How do we get into these things? Oh, like that. Right. And once again, I've forgotten how much I needed. I need one gram. What does one gram look like? You can tell I'm not a drug dealer otherwise. I would know. Now let's do some whisking. So I just turned this on and it scared the life out of me because I thought the butter was going to land in my face. So I have to go into this light and really creamy. You don't know what that means? <laughs> I don't. I think I needed um, one of those. Really not doing good with words today, am I? What are you? Spatula. Spatula. Might be one of them. I apologise if the sound quality is really bad. This is very, very noisy. So, I think it's nearly done. It looks light and creamy, I think. I really don't know what I'm doing. So, oh, I just put sugary butter on me. I don't really know what I'm doing. So, this is going to be fun for all of you guys, as it is for me. So, next, I think we have to beat the eggs up. Um, I need three eggs, and to beat them up, Right. There's medium, they're large, don't know what the difference is. Does it depend on the chicken? Like if you've got bigger chicken, do they lay bigger eggs? <laughs> if anyone can answer that, please comment that. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Okay, well, I messed that up. Right, next one. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Oh dear. I'm suddenly incompetent. Right. What have you learnt today? How not to crack eggs. Anyone who's a professional chef. Don't at me. I know I'm not good at this. How do you know when your eggs are fully beaten? Like, they're meant to look like something in particular. So now it says to add in the eggies slowly and, um, what it's meant to look like. I mean that just looks disgusting. Looks like scrambled egg. I think I've done something wrong guys. Look, come on, come and take a look. Let me let me show you. Like that don't look nice. What have I done? What have I done? That's not what it should look like. Right? I don't know, I haven't made that many cakes, but I know that it shouldn't look like that. I've gotten three steps in and I've already messed this up. 
I've just sent a message to my sister going, I think I've messed up because she's like really good at cakes and stuff. Well, it's really good, but like she makes good cakes, same as my mum, and I've just not picked up that um, characteristic. So hopefully she might come in and have a look at what we've done. <laughs> Here she comes. Just have a look at that. Just have a look in there. Right. Have you added flour yet? It, it hasn't told me to add the flour. No, it, it just said stir in that. And then sift in the flour. No, it doesn't say. Yeah, but that's, I haven't got to that step. Where were you? Four. The step four. It says. So you had the eggs. Yeah, did that. Right, so you've done that. So yeah. now you're in the flour. So, right, so what so you. So if done, I add flour, that will look alright. It's hard to say. <laughs> right. So, technology started to fail on me. So, here's the flour. I now need to add it into there. So I'm adding little bits in, and then she said one, six, all in, beat the hell out of it, like, get rid of all that, oh, flower cloud, get rid of all of that nastiness that I've made by accident, and fix it. Open up the nipper and beat it. I'm making a Jaffa, a Jaffa cake. That is really big, but I don't know if I will be able to make it. That in one. Do I care? No, not really. Jamming in the kitchen. Whoa! I mean, that looks better. Look. Come and look with me. Better. Look at that. I think I've saved it. I will be a chef after all, guys. There's still hope. Now it says to now put it into a frying pan. We don't have any cookable frying pans that you can put in an oven. So I'm just going to use this rather very large cake tin and hope that that works. Probably won't, but who cares? <laughs> Time to put it in. Wait, I've got to grease it. Go with. How greasy do you need the grease? Wee, Yay! I think I've made this way too buttery, but we're going with it. Surely there is an easier way. Surely. <laughs> Wait, this is what this is for. So my sister got me this out. Is this what I meant to do it with? Oh, I think it is, you know. Wow. <laughs> so I think I've now majorly excessively uh, greased it. So now I need some paper. I'm just gonna cut a bit and see what happens. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not gonna be a circle. This is such an easy way to do that. Go on then, inform me. You fold it into a triangle. Oh well I can't do that now. No you can't. And then you just cut off the edge according to that. And then it becomes a circle. So everybody we now have a lined cake tin. How do we get this out? Like scoop and drop or what? No it smells like cake. So, what well, cake? Okay, cake okay, mixture. So, I think I've done something right. So, now that's in there. Yeah, so, I do 20. And then, hopefully, it'll be done. See you in 20 minutes. It is now out the oven. I'm just leaving it to cool. And then we will go back for the decorations of the jelly and the chocolate and make it look like a proper Jaffa cake. Well, try to anyway. Hello everybody, so I let the cake cool, it took a lot longer, so I am back the next day to finish it all off. I've got the bowl of jelly, the chocolates in the fridge, need to melt that, and then hopefully I've got myself a Jaffa cake. So the anyway, the problem is, I didn't do the jelly in a proper bowl, because this is too much jelly to put onto the cake. 
So we're gonna have to try and cut the jelly, which is gonna be interesting. Let me get a plate and try and flip the jelly onto it. Don't know how this is gonna work. All right, so it's come off the sides, but. Oh! Uh, right. Flip it. Well, I mean, that didn't work. Gravity might help me. That's not gonna work, is it? Modern problems, modern solutions, and all that jazz. Oh, oh no! Oh dear. Oh no. That hasn't really worked. I mean, the bottom hasn't even held its shape, so I can't even pick it up. And do you know what? I might just flip it upside down and put it on it. Let's try that. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I can make this work. Maybe. I can make it work. I'll just get more jelly. There. Oh dear. I'm making a massive mess now. Oh no. <laughs> Do. So now I've got this, I'm going to put this in the fridge whilst I try and make some chocolate. I mean, that's just not going to work, is it? Look, look how bumpy that is. Oh well, we're going to have a spiky jelly cake. I didn't think that would go as wrong as it did. But, in mind, chocolate time. I mean, that didn't work. It says it should be done in a minute, so we'll put it in for a minute and see what it looks like. Here's my bowl of chocolate and the microwave it goes. So I'm going to check on the chocolate because it beeped. Hot bowl, hot bowl, hot bowl. But I mean it's already gone wrong, so surely it can't get worse. So now I'm just going to try and pull this on. <laughs> Wish me good luck, guys. Um, oops. It is literally a chocolatey orangey mess. I mean, it probably tastes good. It tastes better than it looks. But, I mean, this is not what a Jaffa cake looks like, is it really? But I tried. You can't fault the girl for trying. <laughs> this is why you don't let Molly loose in the kitchen. Because this will happen. Like, do you know what? When I first started this, I thought... How badly can this go? I think I've learnt the answer to that and it's very badly. It's very, very badly. I suppose I have to try to put it back in the fridge. <laughs> so if you're trying to follow along with this, I'd advise you not to because that's not a Jaffa cake. <laughs> I also use milk chocolate instead of dark chocolate because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Um, and now we have a bowl of melted chocolate, a plate with small bits of jelly on, a bowl with the reminiscence of the jelly that didn't come out of the bowl, and a dodgy Jaffa cake sitting in the fridge. If you liked it, give it a like, comment, I don't know what you comment, but comment down below um, if you think I should try anything else. Because this one made you laugh a little bit too much, watching me fail try and make a Jaffa cake. So if you want me to do that, then tell me down below. If you do try and make it, hopefully not following my recipe. If you do, if you do, if you do uh, try it, then um, here's my Instagram. Send me a picture on Instagram and uh, follow me on Instagram as well. And if you've got any ideas of what I can do, then tell me on Insta. But yeah, we'll just wait for it to harden a little bit more. I mean, surely it can't get worse. This is where I drop it on the floor. Just remembered I had the ears on yesterday, so I thought I might put them back on. Um, so I just got it out of the fridge. 
Uh, do you want to see what it looks like? Ready? What is that? So this is what it looks like. I mean, I, I tried to get the spoon to do the lines across. But, um, yeah, the, the jelly is quite satisfying because it's still, still a wobbly. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not a Jaffa cake, is it? But I tried. And you can't fault a girl. You can't fault a girl for trying. So there is my finished product. Um, it's obviously not as good as we all hoped. But I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe to the button down here. And don't forget to click the little bell button because that will give you notifications of when I upload. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.